Hello, I'm Lauren Stacy, President of the General Conference of the Church of God Seventh Day. This year, 2024, the members and congregations of the Church of God Seventh Day around the world will gather to observe the Lord's Supper soon after sunset on Sunday, April 21st. The Lord's Supper service is a profound and meaningful occasion when we come together to commemorate the death of the Lord Jesus Christ in our places for our sins. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26, the Apostle Paul recounts the first Lord's Supper this way. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, our Lord's Supper service is a time for reflection upon Jesus Christ and his great sacrifice for us. As the Apostle Peter wrote in 1 Peter 3.18, For Christ also died for sins, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. On the cross, Christ entered into the full wrath of God against our sins so that we are able in Christ to enter into God's presence and enjoy personal relationships with him. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that he, God the Father, made him, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. During the Lord's Supper service, we remember that. We re acknowledge that. We thank God for that. And we recommit ourselves to Jesus and to the new covenant he ratified with his own body and blood. What might you expect as you attend and participate in the Lord's Supper? A solemn experience. We are remembering the Lord's death. A sacramental experience. We share the symbolic bread and grape juice, remembering the sacrifice and the love of Jesus for us. A selfless experience. We follow Christ's example of humility as we wash one another's feet. A shared experience. We do this together with our brothers and sisters in Christ, building unity and community among us. Year after year, the Lord's Supper service is an encouraging and transformative service and experience for all who participate. Please mark your calendars Sunday, April 21st, immediately following sunset, and begin preparing now for this awesome evening of worship and obedience. I'm confident that you will be blessed and that God will be glorified as you take part.